Okay, here we go. We're looking at Guardian of the Galaxy, the basic pack, two inch figures. Um, as you can see, there's three of them there. I've opened two of them up already, so we'll have a quick look. We've got here, first ones we'll look at is, is we've got Ronhan and Peter Quill. So, here's Ronhan, here's Peter Quill, or Star Lord. I think I'd rather call him Star Lord in this costume. Um, they're quite cool little two inch figures, very base articulation, you get the arms, the head, and obviously because of his the way his jacket's designed, he does have both legs that move. The same with Rohan here. I do like how he's got like a chainmail sort of mane to him and the armour. The artwork, the paint apps and the armour and sculpting is actually really nice. They're slightly rubber, but they're pretty cool. So you get two figures roughly per packet. And then you get all of these. Now, these all come on a sprue tree. Uh, it's like a backpack sort of feature there. A missile. And then a weapons. Plus a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher uses like a friction ball missile. It's quite powerful though. And these, you can sort of, each character has a hole in the back so you can just plug that in. And then if you want to, you can plug the weapon in. Or they can hold them, depending on what you want. So he's got like either his weapon stored on his back, or if you want, store the rocket launcher on his back. Why not? <laughs> I think the rocket launchers are for the ship, but I'll have to check. A lot of the pictures show the ships have lots of different movable guns, so maybe these are what these are for. So there's those two, Ronhan and Star Lord. Next we'll look at the free pack, which is like this one here. You get Grunt and Nova Soldier, I believe it's called a Nova Soldier. A Nova Corps officer and Raccoon. Now Raccoon has no articulation. Grunt is the tallest figure in the set as far as I can tell. There he is next to Peter Quill. He's quite tall about almost a couple of millimetres or a centimetre taller. He's quite nice, I do like the design on him there, the green. Let me just lower the camera just a little bit. There we go, so I'm able to see him a little bit more. Not as big as the other stuff I've reviewed. Here's the Nova Corps one. Again, they are, oh, paint apps aren't bad on them, for what they are. They're only about five pounds a packet, so not too bad. Again, same setup, you get a backpack feature, or it's a weapon that comes in from the backpack, another weapon, your rocket launch and your missile, which are all on a sprue tree. And that's basically the rest how they sort of work out. Um, I'll quickly open up the others and we'll have a look at the rest of them. Okay, here's what the sprue tree looks like. As you can see, you got your weapon, your backpack thing, and then your... Goodness gracious. And your rocket as well. I'm using the precision precision cutters from Citadel um, Games Workshop. They're pretty cool. I mean, it's very quick snip. I always find it's best to take the flat end, place it there, and then snip. What's great is that because these are so sharp, there's almost no rough edges left on. There's a little bit, but generally it's really good. So yeah, I do recommend these. That's sort of why I've got them for this and for my Gundam model kits. Ooh, that'll be cool. So I just thought I'd quickly show you how you cut them off. But you can just twist them off, but obviously this will clean them so there's nothing to trim off of them. This is a quick look at Drac and Crow 4 however you pronounce it. So here's Drac, who played by uh, Batista in the film. Again, he's tall. So he's tall. I think he's taller than Quinn. Let's just see. No, they're about the same height. Uh, again, the sculpting's nice on him. I like his um, the body art tattoos look really good. Again, the same hole in the back. The blade there sculpted onto his leg. The boots look nice. Yeah, very nice. Now, this guy looks really good all the armor on him. I assume he's a villain. 
that's why it comes with them. I assume they're packaged sort of like um sort of like a villain and then a hero sort of is the idea for some of these. Again, he has a nice his armor looks really cool. Here's their unique rocket launcher, very blocky sort of RPG look. Obviously it's green missile. Just clicks in, sword. And then what almost looks like, well this one actually does look like wings, so. Maybe it doesn't fit in here so well because of the way his back arches. Alright, so this one's a bit too big for these holes, but I'm sure it'll fit into. Yeah. So again, you can just store the weapons on there, or if you want, put the rocket launcher on. Or, with some of the rocket launchers, as you can see, they come with tabs on them. So you can just mount the guns to the rocket launcher if you want. Like that. So yeah, so yeah, that's a quick look. At, well, a, a look at Koraf and Drax. So this is Drax Koraf. Assume he's a villain. Well, he's a good guy. I mean, we'll probably end up we'll see Guardians of the Galaxy. So I know more about it once I've seen it. But until then, these are pretty cool. Okay, here's another set. Here's again Groot, not Grunt, Rocket Raccoon. Now with a weapon. And a Skikarian trooper. So I assume these are like the main villains of the film because of the way his armor and his looks about the same. And then his, see how they've got the red paint. So this pack's good for sort of army building, I suppose. Because um, you get, again, you get Grunt. So different paint apps, which is interesting. Not so green, but the mold's exactly the same. Oh, maybe it's slightly different. It just way it just seems way more. But anyway, so that's from the first pack I showed you. Here's from the new one. So this guy and soldier again. The, the paint is really good on these. Like despite their size, they really went out of the way and painted quite a bit, a fair bit of them. There's a head swivel, arms, both legs. So yeah, Rocket can't do anything again. He's sort of molded in this position, but that's not too bad. You can't hold anything like the first one can, as you can see. Let me just show you. So this is from the first pack. This is from the second one. Paint out is about the same. Not bad though. You get two rockets. You get a third one if you buy all the vehicles. But we'll go over that when we get there. There's a rocket launcher. I assume it's a villain one because of the design of it. This one's actually quite a unique set because you get these as well, which are uh, I see, they're almost like wings, but I assume you can use them as weapons. And then this weapon here, but again, it can be a backpack. So, you know, you can just tap these into here. And then you got a jetpack, you know, why not? I do like the uh, clear plastic weapons. I think they're quite nice. I like the idea that they could almost be like energy weapons, which is nice. Although I know in the film they do actually use physical guns and all that. But yeah, so there's the Skillarian Trooper, Rocket with a gun, and Grunt again. So yeah, these sets are pretty cool. I do like the ones where you get the three figures in it. It seems like Grunt and Rocket both come together as standard. I don't think he can sit on his... Can he sit on his shoulders? No, it would be quite cool. I wonder if this one can. No, none of, the, none of the rockets can sit on the shoulders, which is a shame, but oh well. But it seems like these come with the troopers, so you'd have to have a lot of grunts and rockets left over, but you'd get a lot of troopers. But again, for five or six pounds, you're getting a decent set and lots of weapons and everything as usual, so it's not bad. Nice set, one nice set as usual. I do think they're pretty cool, these figures. I mean, for their size, they're really nifty. I'm looking forward to opening the ship and seeing what that's like when the all can go into there. So, yeah. There we go. On to the last bag I've been realising. I saved the best for last. Who would have thought? Okay, so here's Quill, Adrian Kill again. AK Star-Lord, out of his Star-Lord gear. You get one of these with the ship as well, which is interesting. You get um, a figure with each ship you buy, so you'll get him with his ship. Rocket with his, Escalian Trooper with theirs. 
but Quinn comes with his uh, own shit, which we'll review soon enough. Uh, again, basic articulation. I do like the fact that he's now wearing just a brown coat as head articulation, but there, yeah, the sculpting and look on his face is really good. Again, that's what's really good about all of these. They've got quite good sculpting and detail to their face. And here is, um, goodness me, G Gamma Mora, I think her name is. It probably been out so much easier in the film. Again, head swivel, which is nice to buy hair. Basic articulation. But yeah, nicely detailed. I like the little red flare on her hair. That's quite nice. Again, these figures are really good. I mean, for five, six pounds, depending on where you go, I got these from Entertainer. Got the whole lot, plus the ship. I'll get the rest of them this week as well. But yeah, I think these are really good figures. Then there's another unique rocket launcher. And it's rocket. Standard push fire. Now this is probably got the best um, best accessory set. Looks like a jetpack, that's pretty cool. A giant cannon, that's always good. But the two most awesome pieces are this sword and um, Star Lord's blaster. Oh, it looks so sweet. And one thing that's cool is he uses two in the film. So what's nice is because you have all of them, I'll just give it to Star Lord. And if you want the sword as well, though I assume the uh, the lady would be using the sword more than Star Lord. But yeah, I think I'll be picking up another set of these for the accessories. Probably definitely another one of these for two additional soldiers. But yeah, awesome, I really are. And yeah, goodness me, these figures are really nice. I really like them for their size. These two and a half inch figures that. I first saw them and I was like, oh, they're all right. Maybe if they came with vehicles. Wow, well, what do you know? They come with vehicles. But yeah, I think these figures are really nice for what they are. They are you know, five, six pounds. They're not a deluxe price or anything like that. Not a quarter inch price, which is like nine pounds now, which is ridiculous. So for the price you're paying, these are really good and I recommend picking them up. I really do. Even if you're not a fan of this like film, I think that the figures just look so nice. They really do. So yeah, there's a look at the action figures for Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll be getting the rest of the ships this week and we'll have a look at the spaceship Milano, I think it's called. I can just see it through the plastic over there, but we'll have a look at that. 